I'm Dr. Sharifa Sharif, uh, Executive Director of the National Institute for Governance and Sustainable Development. I'm here today to share with you uh, uh, and showcase an initiative that we uh, launched in 2020 regarding uh, or called Be an Ambassador. Before we start, I just wanted to share with you a couple of um, numbers so we know where we stand. Um, we're a total of population of 105 million. 60% of the total are under the age of 30. And on a yearly basis, we grow 2.5 million. So as you can see, the challenge is, is, is great. Um, uh, the initiative we're talking about today is creating awareness and training on the SDGs, the 17 SDGs. The idea started in uh, 2016 with the launching of Egypt's Vision 2030. And the idea behind it was, okay, uh, we have a vision, but this vision has to be translated and ha we have to create awareness so people know we have, everybody has a role and we're in this together. We're not talking government, but we're talking private sector, we're talking civil society, we're talking as individuals, what we have to give back to our communities. So to do so, we have to have the knowledge and the know-how to do so. Um, this program took two years to design. Uh, we did a lot of desk research, and then we designed the program. The program uh, was based on six main themes, our three E's that we're, we're very passionate about, educate, engage, and empower. The second theme is leaving nobody behind. The third theme is youth for youth. When I say youth for youth is on the ground in the implementation stage of this program, the people behind the scenes were youth. Everybody was under the age of 35. So the, the, those delivering to their peers, to the youth that are being trained are also youth. It's a peer-to-peer -peer model that uh, I think will you'll be, more be, be visible more when I go on with the presentation. And uh, scaling up in numbers is very important for this project to, uh, so we could reach a, lot, a, a, a greater number of individuals and capitalizing on the training of the youth trained. The, the theme is not, we didn't have just a th a thematic areas, but we also uh, aligned all the modules with Egypt's Vision 2030, Africa 2063, the Africa we want, and Egypt's national strategies like the Women Empowerment Strategy, the Anti-Corruption Strategy, Climate Change Strategy, and of course, our Constitution, the 2014 Constitution. To date, we implemented, uh, we trained 2,350 youth. Okay. So, moving on to our presentation. The aim of the initiative, of course, is it was launched by, of course, the Ministry of Planning and Economic Development and implemented by the National Institute for Governance and Sustainable Development, and we launched it in November 2020. It aims at building the national capacities in the areas of sustainable development. It's an intense four-month training program. Achieving sustainable development through capacity building is the main theme of this program and of course capitalizing on the trainees through TOT or training for training programs. The idea behind it is to create modern day environmental thinking, the concept of equitable, inclusive, sustainable development, and introducing importance to adhering to the UN SDGs and concepts like the green economy, smart cities, and circular economy. We have eight main features for this program networking, the networking effect of the individuals being trained together in, through a boot camp, a five-day boot camp, um, inclusive to people with disabilities and gender sensitive, partnering up with more than 24 public and private universities and NGOs, uh, developing ideas through our sustainable innovation lab, like potential startups and ideation, going through an ideation stage until we reach potential startups, uh, it, it was acknowledged and recognized by UN DESA in 2022 as one of the main uh, accelerators of SDGs um, in the region. We uh, received 10,000 applicants. We trained 2,350 to date in two years, focusing on the localization of SDGs because we covered the 27 governorates, governorates throughout Egypt. 
and our target audience here was youth from the age of 18 to 35. So our, again, our theme, our main theme was educate, engage, and empower, spreading awareness on SDGs, training Egyptian youth to realize Egypt's vision 2030 and to promote implementation of the vision, creating ambassadors for sustainable development throughout, again, the 27 governance, meaning localizing SDGs throughout Egypt through our peer-to-peer -peer model and developing their skills through intensive training programs and creating knowledge related to the different topics related to sustainable development and climate change. These are, of course, the 27 governorates that we reached out to. Our model was based on three levels, introductory specialists and professional level. The phases, again, it was a four, it's a four month intensive program. Uh, using, uh, we did this during COVID, so we were kind of, we were, <laughs> it was crazy, as we all know. So we, uh, we created our own learning management system, providing more than 72 courses for soft skills and principles for sustainable development and governance and climate change. This takes 20 hours of training, and these are examples of a couple of, uh, of the, the training courses that the, the, the participants went through, the art of public speaking, principles of marketing, uh, personal branding, all related to soft skills. The next level is meet the experts or, or through pre-recorded lectures, but again, we also had webinars to complement these lectures, so they did meet the experts actually, but it was online through Zoom. Uh, so we, had set, we have 20 uh, pre-recorded lectures online on our learning management system, Estedema. Uh, things that are, uh, topics that are more specialized related to governance for sustainable development, for example, green investments, sustainability, sustainable and inclusive financing, digital transformation, uh, climate change, and the like. So we have, again, 20 pre-recorded uh, lectures with experts in their field, and uh, we complemented these lectures with online Zoom, uh, interactive Zoom, Zoom engagement with, uh, with the, uh, the experts. The professional level is the TOT level, the Training of Trainers program. Uh, through this program, those that are, uh, th that graduate, graduate become uh, certified trainers. So this is done through a five-day boot camp, 40-hour training sessions. Uh, groups are divided into 25 because, again, it's interactive. The training methodology included gamification, simulation, case, case studies, group discussions, uh, presentations to enhance the learning experience. The tools that we have, again, we created tools to complement the program. We have our training manual, and we also created our own uh, glossary related to terminology related to governance and sustainable development, because again, we're very passionate and we're, uh, we, we're acknowledging that governance is a tool that without it, we won't be able to reach Egypt's vision 2030. So governance is a very important part, cross-cutting Egypt's vision 2030 and cross-cutting all the modules that we delivered through this program. Um, these are examples of the games we used, the gamification. It was through avatars and different types of uh, uh, applications, again, to cope with training fatigue, uh, because again, it's a four month uh, training program that has a lot of topics. And again, what we're doing here, we're also trying to work with the mindset, evolving the mindset to focus on sustainable mindsets and intuitive behavior and thinking. Uh, through our, we created another, uh, uh, or what we call the Sustainable Innovation Lab. This was the lab that takes the ideas that are generated from the youth through, again, uh, uh, potential startups being ide ideas going through an ideation stage and through an incubation stage. We had 199 ideas that were developed during the course of the, the, the two years that we worked with the, with, with, with the participants. The, the actual startups on the ground to date are 14. Currently, we have 11 being incubated, incubated and uh, this was done through nine different activities. 
uh, if we're talking about numbers and figures and diversity, and again, uh, uh, talking about Haya Karima, which was in the first uh, session, of course, Haya Karima is one of our major national project, projects in Egypt. So we decided to, again, uh, uh, bring in 150 to 200 of the, the, the people on the ground working in Haya Karima are, again, ambassadors for, for sustainable development through the Ministry of Planning and the Institute. We also train P, uh, individuals from Masr al Khair Foundation and the Red Crescent. Um, our methodology for return on investment is very important because again, we're investing in, in human capital, we're investing in intellectual capital, we're investing in our youth. Uh, so we have to look at it in, in the perspective of return on investment. So measuring the impact, behavioral change, knowledge transferred, and satisfaction, learner satisfaction is very important because again, that feedback for quality control of the program is always ongoing. Evidence-based key performance indicators. Okay, now I mentioned several times that we trained to date 2,350 on the ground young ambassadors across the 27 governorates 24 universities, both private and public. 70% of them are qualified trainers on the ground, um, receiving the 70% of, of course, the 2,350 is basically 1,645 certified trainers across Egypt. If we again move up to an another number that I want to share with you, is each of these individuals has to, in a time span of two years, uh, train uh, from 150 to 200 of their peers. That's why it's called the peer-to-peer -peer model, because again, we, we as, an, uh, as a ministry and as an institute, we train and then they, they take the role to train their peers. So peer-to-peer -peer model is a very important uh, key uh, aspect or key uh, uh, criteria of this program and the, the success of it, actually. So if we just do the math, 1,645 of these individuals trained from 150 to 200 of their peers. So we've reached on the ground, we, uh, they trained more than 246 individuals across the 27 governorates on SDGs. Uh, we showcased, of course, the, the, the success of this project during COP27. Um, and uh, we, we shared, of course, with, with uh, in, in the booth that was, was uh, the, the booth of the Ministry of Planning, we had the gamification on the ground, so people tried the games and, and they were very, we got a, a lot of good feedback from it. Um, the way forward and beyond 2023, uh, the world we want, as the, the name of the, the session is actually. So capitalizing and scaling up, and that's one of the, or the, one of the two criteria I had mentioned, or two themes I had mentioned before. The idea of scaling up on numbers, so reaching the, on the ground through the 27 governance and through our ambassadors for sustainable development, uh, more and more individuals that are, uh, have knowledge on what sustainable development goals are, what climate change is. So again, moving forward, we've also reached out to the media and communication sector, training 50 uh, on the ground, people with disabilities. We have um, an ongoing program with the deaf, uh, reaching out to 100 uh, people with disabilities. Civil servants are being trained, uh, again, by numbers. Uh, we also created another program reaching out to children from K to 12 uh, uh, through extracurricular activities in schools. We reached out to, to date to 1,500 uh, school children, both public and private uh, uh, schools. We trained uh, uh, 700 of our graduates on how to be or, or creating knowledge on climate change and, and uh, be, we, they became uh, ambassadors for climate change. And of course, uh, we just launched two days ago with the OECD and fun, it's an EU funded program 
which we're very uh, proud to, to share with, with the audience today is Youth Policy Shapers. And this is, again, uh, we're going to train more than 400 trainees by the, by the end of December 2023. Um, we also created another initiative, uh, training to date 250 uh, undergraduate and graduate students from seven uh, universities to become ambassadors for governance. This is basically the presentation. I wanted to share with you a short video on the initiative itself and, um, and the success story that, uh, that I showcased today. المستدامة بين الفرص والتحديات مبادرة طموحة أطلقتها وزارة التخطيط والتنمية الاقتصادية والمعهد القومي للحوكمة والتنمية المستدامة انطلاقا من الفرص والتحديات التي تواجه مصر لتحقيق أهداف التنمية المستدامة الشاملة والعادلة ورؤية مصر 2030 تهدف المبادرة إلى بناء القدرات الوطنية في مجال التنمية المستدامة وذلك من خلال سلسلة من الدورات التدريبية لمختلف القطاعات وتتيح الدورات التدريبية خلفية عن تطور الفكر البيئي في العصر الحديث التعريف بمفهوم التنمية المستدامة أهداف الأمم المتحدة للتنمية المستدامة الاقتصاد الأخضر الاقتصاد الدائري كأليات لتحقيق التنمية المستدامة دور مختلف مؤسسات الدولة وفئات المجتمع في الوصول إلى أهداف التنمية المستدامة ومن أهداف المبادرة تدريب عدد ألف متدرب من مختلف مؤسسات الدولة من الجامعات المصرية الحكومية والخاصة والمراكز البحثية والقطاع الخاص والجمعيات الأهلية والإعلام بالإضافة إلى ذوي الهمم نشر التوعية بأهمية التنمية المستدامة وأجندة مصر 2030 تنمية وتطوير المهارات الشخصية للكوادر الشبابية خلق سفراء للتنمية المستدامة لمختلف مؤسسات الدولة المصرية وتضم المبادرة ثلاث مستويات أساسية المستوى التمهيدي تتم الدراسة فيه من خلال منصة التدريب الإلكتروني استدامة ويتضمن التعريف ببعض المهارات الشخصية ومبادئ التنمية المستدامة عن طريق التدريب على عشرة برامج تدريبية وتستغرق حوالي عشر ساعات تدريبية وهذه البرامج هي كتابة السيرة الذاتية فن الخطابة بناء فرق العمل التسويق التسويق الذاتي إدارة الوقت الذكاء العاطفي فن التفاوض بالإضافة إلى برنامجين للتعريف بمبادئ التنمية المستدامة والتمويل المستدام المستوى التخصصي والذي يبدأ فور الانتهاء من الاختبار الخاص بالمستوى التمهيدي ويتضمن عدد 11 محاضرة مسجلة من خلال نخبة من الخبراء والمتخصصون في مختلف محاور التنمية المستدامة يتم إتاحتها على المنصة الإلكترونية للمعهد استدامة المستوى الاحترافي ويتضمن تأهيل المتدربين من خلال برنامج تدريب المتدربين TOT ليصبحوا سفراء للتنمية المستدامة في مجال العمل ولنشر فكر وتطبيقات التنمية المستدامة ويتم تنفيذه لمدة خمسة أيام متصلة بإجمالي 40 ساعة تدريبية عن طريق الحضور الفعلي وتم تقسيم المتدربين إلى مجموعات مع الالتزام بكافة الإجراءات الاحترازية للوقاية من فيروس كورونا 19 وقد تم تنفيذ تدريب لعدد ست مجموعات تدريبية بالإضافة إلى المجموعة المتخصصة والتي تضم مرشحين من جمعية الهلال الأحمر ومؤسسة حياة كريمة ومؤسسة كاريتاس سيتي ومؤسسة مصر الخير كما تم إعداد ورشة تدريبية عن أهمية نشر ثقافة التنمية المستدامة لتضم مجموعة من الإعلاميين وقام فريق العمل بالمعهد القومي للحوكمة والتنمية المستدامة بتنفيذ أحدث إصدارات المبادرة كن سفيرا وهو دليل تدريبي وأيضا دليل مصطلحات الحوكمة والتنمية المستدامة وفي إطار حرص الوزارة والمعهد الدائم على متابعة المتدربين بعد انتهاء العملية التدريبية قام فريق العمل بتلقي حوالي 200 مقترح لفكرة مبادرة أو مشروع وبالفعل قام بعض من المتدربين بتنفيذ تلك المقترحات وبالتعاون مع كلية سياسة واقتصاد جامعة القاهرة تم ترشيح عدد 47 متدرب لتلقي التدريب اللازم لمساعدتهم على تنفيذ مقترحاتهم وذلك من خلال حاضرة الأعمال سيلاب
وتضم المبادرة نخبة من الخبراء المشاركين في المستوى التخصصي منها نجتمع اليوم في يوم حاسم يتزامن مع تخرج الدفعة الأولى واستضافة مصر قمة كوب 27 ونبض ووعي وطاقات شباب مصر الواعدة قادة المستقبل مهمتكم اليوم هي التعريف بأهمية التنمية المستدامة في كافة ربوع مصرنا الغالية بينما تتواصل جهود السيد الرئيس عبد الفتاح السيسي رئيس الجمهورية والحكومة في الجمهورية الجديدة لصناعة المستقبل الأفضل لجموع الشعب المصري ما سيحدث في المستقبل مرهون بجهود وقرار الحاضرين هنا اليوم فأهلا بكم في يومكم يوم شباب مصر يوم الاحتفال بكم سفراء مبادرة كن سفيرا للتنمية المستدامة أهلا بكم في مبادرة كن سفيراً